Hi everyone, Pastor Dave. I sure hope you're doing well. We've been thinking about you, praying for you. Of course, we're all in the middle of a crazy time, the crisis, first of all, of COVID. And now, of course, the crisis related to George Floyd's death, a death that should not have happened, uh, so wrong. And we're living in the aftermath of that. We're trying to listen, we're trying to learn. Uh, God is speaking to all of us. I said last week, we've got to listen to God and not just go through this time. We really need to become different people as a result of this time. So as Bernice and I have been working through this and talking to others about it, we've been watching videos. We've been reading articles. So much information is coming our way. One of the things that's happening, there just are so many voices speaking into all of this. But one of the things that we've done is we've, thought about this is we've lamented, we've, we've, we've grieved over this situation, over the loss and uh, the, the hurt to our black community, the loss that they're experiencing right now. And that led to Bernice and I writing a lament, a word of lament, call it whatever you want to call it. Uh, but this is part of our journey. And I'm sure you have much that you can share, but this is part of our journey. This is what we wrote. Our church is in Los Altos, California, in the Silicon Valley, an area where diversity is us, and we love that. Yet, even in the midst of all of this diversity, we know we have much to learn. And during these times, we are being asked to learn more, particularly related to what it's like for a person to be black in our country. We want you to know we are listening, we are learning, we hear you, we see you, we care about you, we see your pain, we are lamenting and we're troubled. Please forgive us for our sins of omission. We have not cared like we should. We have not seen the depth of your suffering. We are looking to God for help. We are praying for you and with you. We want things to be better. We don't want you to walk in fear. We long for justice to be done. We are praying for justice to be done. We are here, we want to help. We want to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. So, may God help us love like he loves and may we follow his leading to step out and help bring change in his name. Now, would you do what we've been doing a lot of lately? Would you pray with me? Let's just pray about that. Lord, that's what we want. We want to be a part of the change that you want to do in all of our lives. And God, we grieve with our black community. We pray that you will give them comfort and you will lead them through this time of loss. God, that this, this pain will be in some way healed by the gracious work that you can do in them and by the love that people like us would have toward them. And Father, I pray that you would just change us all. We need to change. And we know we can't do it alone, so we pray that you would intervene and you would change us, not from the outside in, but you would change us from the inside out. You would change us through your love. We would become loving like you are loving. We would love like Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, on behalf of our black community, we ask for your divine intervention in our world that this would be a better place, that heaven would come on earth. In fact, you, you said pray for that, that your kingdom would come on earth even as it is in heaven. Lord, we pray for that. We pray that there is a better day ahead. And we pray whatever it is that you want us to do to step into that better day ahead, you will continue to make it clear. And this won't just be a time of learning, but this will be a time of living different. And we know that you hear our prayers and are able to bring uh, change, and so we pray for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, uh, 
we are with you. We are praying that God will continue to teach all of us what it is that he wants us to learn during this time. Of course, all of our ministries continue. Last night we had a Zoom all church gathering where we uh, celebrated together what God's doing in our midst and we had communion and tomorrow morning we're going to have the same meeting, well, hopefully with a a bunch of other people that weren't able to make it last night. So I trust if you haven't yet come to that gathering, you will it's be on Zoom tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. You can go to our website to access that. And then Sunday, it's going to be a wonderful time as we focus on hope. Boy, do we need hope right now in the midst of our world. And so come join us on Sunday, access the service online. Let's pray together for God's work in our midst and that it will spread from us to, the, to others in the world and there would be a better future in the days ahead. May your weekend be wonderful and the week to come, and may God continue to teach us all that he wants, and may his comfort and strength and peace come to our world.